Greetings and salutations. This one we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can spread mix off a board once you've done your mix. If you've not seen that one, we can always do another video how to do a mix. So it's to pick up your cement on the trowel and you're going to be swooping it in and then spreading it. And then what we're going to show you how to put a trench block in the ground and fix that as you wall to your line, which is the video before we did. Also, the reason you get people on this say when you're doing brick lane you've got to spread your mix. Well spread your mix in a builder's terms is completely different in a way. And taking a look at that, if I was to say to someone that didn't know spread your mix, you would actually spread it like that. But ideally you want to be moving and taking as much off your, your trowel on the board. So you're doing like three sections, pick it up, so you've got a good load of mix. And then where you've ended, you want to be pointing your trowel but swooping it down a slight touch and then you're going to be tilting your wrist. So you're going to be tilting it like that and pulling it down in line. So ideally you stop it there and then twist. Now we need quite a bit of a big bed on this to pull it up. So once you've twisted it, get your trowel, you can turn it around, up and down, up and down. If it's, a fit, if it's a, quite a thick bed, you don't have to go all the way down, just make a, a mark in it at the centre. Staying in the centre line all the time where you think the wall's going to be. Then going back to your, your board, turning it a couple of times, so you're lifting it, twisting it, lift, twist it back off, lift, and maybe the last one, try and go for the big one. And again, then, just from there, taking a little edging off, and then again, Depends on the weather, you can spread quite a, a bit before it's gone off and it's very sunny. You want to be doing a bit less really, two blocks, maybe three blocks, just so it's going off in the heat. So, so these are the blocks, they're all interlinked blocks. Some people say you don't have to fill in the edges, but I prefer to do that to give it a bit of a, a bond. <coughs> Never believe that. So get some mix. Ideally on the block, take a little bit off the front plaster it just pull as much over it so it sticks like one way from bottom to the top bottom to the top and then maybe just give it some on the edge again so you're going to slice it in sections like that yep so you're going to go to the top bit Oops, sorry top bit do it like that and you don't want too much because it's going to link see so again put an angle however just to scrape it off like that then you'll be lifting the block up and straight Punching your back, put it more or less in position. Again, if your mix is soft, just hold on to it and wait for a bit. You want to use a lump hammer. <clears throat> and what you want to be doing is you need to be knocking it down to the line on this side, but also keeping it nice and level. Now, I've been slated for this on jobs, showing you using the level. Now, remember, if you're learning, it's much easier just to keep on top every now and then as you lay in a few because you can tilt it not that it matters because you're doing the next rules of the line but it'll be harder for you okay so ideally you're looking at the block you know it wants to be tilting over so i would hit, hit it around the middle holding onto the edge and just move it across like that then i'd get this side put it in watch it straight in the center and then again i had a cut in the line you don't want that really but in the way. Move it off the line, always have a little gap in between the line. Don't go right onto the line because you can build your wall further past and it'll give it a bow. So keep a little gap all the time. You see one from the last one, just knock it back. And again, before you finish, if it is more or less you're happy to test it like this, you can go to the bottom because it needs twisting, but it's right to the line. So just hit it in the bottom corner there and then try and pull it back in. Okay, so you know it's more or less right. Then come back to the front line, knock it to it, and then give it a good couple of fuds, check it, and then that's it. So you get your cement then, take a dollop of it, go to the top of the block, and ram it in. And just spend a bit of time. I'll do this with my pointing trowel in a bit. If it helps, get a pointing trowel, give it a good push in. It's gonna come out the sides. Catch it, get the sides, get the trowel on you using that section there. So holding it right handed, so you're going to twist it 
and then just push it all in. Yep. And take some off the bottom that's, that's loose, throw it on a, in a line, try and push it down. It's a bit hard when it's going off a bit there. So you're scraping it like that, and then you're going to take a section off so it's that, as you take it, it's that twist. And if it's good enough, it should stay on. And if you need to fill any, just push it in, scrape off your excess. In another section, it's a, it's a twist to keep it on and then down, it should stay on. So just point it, you don't have to point it, obviously it's underground, uh, but fill all these areas in. It's just to get a more solid job, you tend to find some people fill it off and they don't fill them in. And I suggest that you get it filled, so again, you take the sections off, get to the back, a bit more room, just fill it up. I'm trying to spend too much time on it, obviously, because uh, you can do that at the end, maybe. And again, that's it, you just keep spreading. So, just remember when you spread your mix and you've got on the foam, if you're laying your block and it's sinking, you need to leave that on and go over it again if it's dropped, however thick. But there's only so much you can get before it starts swimming about. So, you don't want to be going too much, you know, an inch maybe you could probably get away with. Just be careful on the height. Apart from that, you could. Uh, some kind of slate stone or some sort to fill it in if there was ever a problem that you were joining two together. But if it's nice and level, the bed should stay the same all the way. Keep to that routine. One on the outside, inside section, leaving that, and then boom, banging them all down. Oh, well, that's a bit about. Didn't expect that one. Peace to you.